What is going on everybody? It's Starkler coming back at you with another video. So for those who don't know, there's going to be a mob vote off on October 14th at 12 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, and it's going to be showing off three brand new mobs for the game. So the three mobs that they're going to add in is the Sniffer, the Rascal, and the Tough Golem. And before I explain why I'm voting for the Sniffer, I want to thoroughly explain all three of them as best as I can, and then explain why I'm going to be voting for the Sniffer at the end of this video. So the Sniffer is an ancient old mob that once existed lore-wise in the Minecraft overworld, and it once became deceased, but if you vote for this mob, then it'll actually be available in some of the underwater ruins, things like shipwrecks and other random ruins underwater. You could pull open the egg, and you can bring this once deceased Minecraft mob back to life. And not only that, but it'll also be able to sniff out stuff and be able to pull old seeds out of the ground and be able to plant some prehistoric plants, which is actually pretty cool. To actually plant like old ancient seeds and bring back to life some of these old plants would actually kind of expand a little bit more on the lore of the universe. I think it's just a really fun idea to have another mob that sniffs because right now at this moment, the warden is the only mob that can sniff so to have a second mob with a sense of smell would actually just be kind of nice. There was also pictures going around online of some of the old ancient fossils going around in the overworld and it turns out that they actually highly resemble what the sniffer would look like in game based off of fan made recreations. So in that sense it's almost like the sniffer is sort of half canon to the game as it is and if this gets voted in then it would just confirm it because you have to remember that pre historic animals in general were once really large and then some of them actually shrunk down over time so the sniffer actually is sort of half a part of the game but we just need to get the mob in the game first if that makes sense. So the second mob that they're putting in is the Rascal, which is a mob that you could find deep underground by playing hide and seek with below Y0, by the way, so you have to dig down pretty deep. You have to play hide and seek with it three times in order to get an enchanted item from it, and then I don't really know what it does after that because it doesn't really show it in the trailer, but pretty much what it does is give you an enchanted item deep down in the mines. Now, me personally, I don't really think this is the most exciting mob because for one, it seems like it's a very temporary mob that can only help out closer towards the beginning of the game. And chances are, if you're deep down in the mines, you probably have a couple of pickaxes on you. I always carry at least two down just in case of emergency. You can always go back up to the surface to go and make more pickaxes with your newly mined minerals and resources. So I just don't really see the Rascal as the most exciting option just for that fact alone. Now if it did release something more than just a, an enchanted shovel, or if it gave you like diamonds or something, or like a new enchantment entirely, then I think this mob could possibly win the vote off, but we just don't have a lot of information on it. And the third and final mob that they introduced in this year's vote off was the tough golem and there's actually not a whole lot to say about it it's pretty much a walking item frame it is a golem that you can build anywhere you want and it will go and pick up whatever item you drop on the ground and it will pick it up and it will hold it in place and and that's that's pretty much it except it does move around a little bit. So basically the reason why I'm voting for the Sniffer is just because it seems like not only the most interesting mob, but also the most useful one, and it would even help add on more to the lore of the story as far as resurrecting old deceased characters that were once fossils, and then also it could be the second mob in the game that can sniff stuff, and it could even add in new types of decoration blocks and even unlock a little bit more to the lore and the story of the game itself. And another funny thing is that when you look up like mob polls that people host online, overwhelmingly the sniffer keeps winning most of the polls that are made. I actually made one myself that got over 800 votes and it got over 70% of the votes so I just think the sniffer in general is probably going to win it just because everybody else kind of sees the same stuff that I'm kind of stating in this video and I really wish all three of the mobs could just be added because I feel like mob vote offs every year just start a bunch of pointless drama over which mob you want in the 
game over the others, and then there's a really good chance that you're not going to see the other two mobs ever again, or at least not years down the line, just like the frogs. But again, that's all I have to say. This is me. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions. I'm entitled to mine. You're entitled to yours. And if you think that this is the right type of mob to add into the game, then tell me. If you think it's the wrong mob to add, then tell me. Because I actually have friends that have different opinions on this as well. I have a friend that wants the Rascal in the game, and I have another friend that wants the Tough Golem in the game. So hopefully they vote for them, and may the best mob voter win. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so if there's anything else that you guys have to say, be sure to leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Only one mystery remains. Which mob will the community vote for during Minecraft Live? Which mob will make a new home in Minecraft? You have 24 hours to cast your vote starting on October the 14th, noon, Eastern Daylight Time.